Aaron Donald is revered by his peers in the NFL. Aaron Donald has the best player in the league, like, no doubt about it. He can do anything you want him to on the defensive side of the football. The best guys have it all. Aaron Donald is one of those guys that has every aspect. That's a frustrating thing for an offensive lineman to go up against. In five NFL seasons, he has been selected to five Pro Bowls. Well, I love you. I love you. In 2017, he was Defensive Player of the Year. Aaron Donald's amazing with the way he's playing right now. And this year, he's got a shot at league MVP. Oh! But off the field, he's kind of shy. Do you like interviews or do you... What don't you like about them? I just don't like it. I just keep to myself. Do you feel weird talking about yourself? Yeah. Aaron Donald! cannot be stopped. You can't stop him. He's a machine. Guess who? 99, Aaron Donald. A Pittsburgh kid in the big city of Los Angeles. Yeah. You used to this now? I'm used to it. It came a long way. So it's, it's a lot different from Pittsburgh, but I'm definitely used to it now. Do you get recognized when you go out and about? Yeah, a lot more this year. How does that make you feel? Um, sometimes it's like, I'm just a guy. You know, it's, it's, you know, you just want to go out there and, and go to the store, get, get some food or, you know, get some clothes at the store or something. And, you know, and, and the fans want to take pictures. I understand, you know, I like the support and everything like that, but, you know, I'm just a normal guy. Tumble, yes. Normal, far from. Donald has become one of the most feared defenders in the NFL. How different are you this year than your first year? Um, I just, you know, you mature, you grow, you understand the game a lot more. I did a lot of dip, more different things that I ever did this offseason, just from training standpoint and just watching film and just trying to, you know, up my game. Like so. what? What's up with the knives? Just, that was something different, you know, just reaction it? things that help you react a little faster. High, high, low, low. High, high, low, low. High, low, high, low, high, low. I'm not stop. <laughs> Straight at you, got him. Who, who introduced you to that? Um, my trainer, Dwayne Brown. I've been working with him since high, high school. He trained maybe a year. Don't worry, the knives were fake and made of rubber. But the hard work Donald puts in is all real. Him helping me to you know, react or be able to break down an offensive lineman's arm to get past him a lot faster and things like that. So it, it helped. How's ping pong help? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's just a, that's a hobby. That's a hobby. Yeah, just you're reaction. Good. You react. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good. You're real good. Yeah, I'm real good. I had a phone call on the way up here with one of your former coaches. Can you guess who that would be? Who? Dave Wanstead. Oh, Wanstead, okay, yeah. okay. so I worked with Dave on Sundays at Fox, and I mentioned that I was coming to interview you. I said, give me all the dirt. <laughs> he said, there isn't dirt. He's one of the best guys out there. Oh, man. Um, he mentioned how, you know, coming out of high school, how you weren't highly recruited. Mm -hmm. Do you play with a chip on your shoulder? Uh, people ask me that all my life. They ask me, do I play with it? I always say no. I just play, you know. <laughs> there's people that's gonna think you this and that. And, there's gonna be people that they say negative things about you, positive things, but you know, there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is go out there, play the game, and let your game speak for you. Play fake, rolls right, oh. gets sacked by Michael Strahan. It's a new record, Michael Strahan. 22 and a half sacks, breaks the mark held by Mark Gastineau. When people throw out the 22 and a half, they throw out the Michael Strahan, all that stuff, what do you say to that? I'll stop now, because y'all got all this attention that's coming my way now with all these double and triple teams, so. Um, Are you over those double teams? I'm so over them, but it, it, it comes it come with the territory, so I just got to find a way to, to you know, keep trying to beat it. So. It's a compliment, right? But it's it's also at the same time you're like, man. It's, it's frustrating. I don't yeah. know, I'll be, I be letting them know how, I'll be like, I what can't get, say? let me get one one-on-one. -on -one. Just give me <laughs> one. Like, you don't got to slide every time. You don't got to overset. You don't got to choke down with the tackle. <laughs> Donald entered week 17 three sacks shy of the single season record. Center, center, and he is sacked. Back in the 25, Aaron Donald, that's one. He finished the year with 20 and a half sacks, too shy of Michael Strahan's record, but he's got his sights set on something much bigger. You go through all your accolades, five time Pro Bowl, 
by the way, congratulations Thank on you. the recent nomination. Not a surprise there. Uh, defensive Player of the Year. All of your your list of accolades. What's missing? Um, a Super Bowl. You know, that's the, that's the goal. You know, you, you, you want individual success, but you want that team success too. I, you always, you know, you meet guys that won a Super Bowl or you got the experience here or coaches and they always talk about it, you know. Um, that's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. You, you get to experience that. So, um, you know, that's something that I want to experience for myself and be a part of, so. Just play along with me for a second. You guys win the Super Bowl. <laughs> we'll probably be crying somewhere right now. Yeah. Crying, um, family probably be on the field, kids be on the field with me and just, you know, Taking it all in, enjoying it, and, and you know, something that you you dreamed about all your life, and you seen as a kid, and growing up, and to be a part of it, and and and, and win it, that would be surreal. Do you hold on to the feeling you had last year in that wild card game, where you you, you walk off the field and you know that that season's over right then and there? Oh, for sure. That was that was motivation. You know, you get to a first playoff game. They always say it's it's a it's, it's a different feel, you know, and, and that's probably the most amped up I've ever been for a game. I couldn't sit down. I'm so excited, so pumped up. We in. We in. We in. You realize that's what you train for to play in games like that and have opportunities to be a world champion. So, quick snap for Ryan in the shotgun around the edge they come, pursued by Aaron Donald, and he's sacked again. To get a feel for it and understand how the playoffs, how it's going to be and how it is, I think it's going to help us as a team and help me as a player to, you know, um, improve when we, when we get there again. We made mistakes early. Yeah. You know, um, it hit us a couple times. You know, a couple mistakes here and there. In, in games like this, you can't have that. So um, it's a learning experience. So we're in Hollywood. You get to write your ending. What's your perfect Hollywood ending? A couple Super Bowls, you know, becoming one of the, the best to ever play the position as a defensive tackle and, and one day wearing that gold jacket. You know, I feel like you play the game to have success and, and to win Super Bowls and not to be good, to be great. You know, you don't put all this work and all this time into this game all this fam, all this training, just to be good. You know, anybody can be good. You gotta put the extra effort in to be great.